right. Good morning, Jill. How are you? Good morning. I'm fabulous today. How are you? Good. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jill Neely from Titus Valeria Hospital. There's so much going on. There really is. There really is. When I got here this morning, I told you I get to talk about my two favorite things, <laughs> food and sports. Yeah. Um, so one of the things we talked about on a previous um, show with you was the renovations at the snack shop. Yeah. And a lot of people know that there's been physical changes, but we also made some changes to our menu a couple of months ago. We still have the favorites, the burgers, the um, sandwiches, the soup of the day, but they've added a few different salads. There's a spinach salad. There's a grilled chicken salad. They've also added a chicken wrap. But the other thing that we've done is we now have the daily specials, which is every day of the week, there's a special for um, like every Monday is a meatball sub. Ooh. Every Tuesday is the club sandwich. Every Wednesday is the roast beef with au jus. Every Thursday is the barbecue pulled pork, which is one of the favorites. And Friday is the cheesesteak sub, which my 19-year-old has been there quite a few times <laughs> to have that one. I'll tell you, the, the barbecue pulled pork sounds really good. That's tomorrow. That is Thursday. Thursday is the barbecue pulled pork. Oh, so, man. yep. Yep, tomorrow. Now, what are the hours? Um, the snack shop hours are open. Um, I have it on my menu somewhere. I forgot to look at the hours. I know they're open in the morning when I get there by 8. Okay. <laughs> so the lunch. Oh, there it is. I yeah. Okay, so lunch is served from 11 to 2, but they do have breakfast items still, too. Um, so the But the lunch is really what we've kind of beefed up and, and added, to. So, um, you know, we had some people talking about how it's hard to find some lunch places in town anymore. And so we just wanted to put that out there and remind some people that we still are there and, and a lunch is from 11 to 2. But we do still have breakfast. And like I said, I know they're open by the time I get into the office at 8. So yeah. feel free to stop by for breakfast, too. Well, I'll tell you what, it's it's really amazing just, uh, just the changes that have been made in that entryway. So you come Correct. in and it's just very warm and inviting. Mm -hmm. But it didn't just stop in that immediate, you know, area. Right. The snack shop was also renovated, mm -hmm. and it's just amazing. Right, right. It's been fabulous. It's been fabulous. We enjoy the changes. We've got a lot of compliments on it. Um, people that haven't been there. So we have some vendors that hadn't been there for a couple of years, and they'll come back in, and, and they just can't believe the changes that have been made. So it's been great. We, we really enjoy it. Um, now here's uh, just a shot of, I mean, the, the floors, the, the just lighting, everything has been uh, just updated. It mm -hmm. just looks, it looks amazing, and the food is still fantastic. Yes. Uh, and again, as you're saying, it's a reminder to say, hey, don't forget about us for lunch. Yeah, <laughs> come up and say hi. Come up and grab something to eat. And now you got specials every day, and. Mm -hmm. And the food has always been incredible. So Absolutely, absolutely. And again, the burgers are still there. I know those are their favorite. And the milkshakes, it's That's summertime. Right. So oh, yeah, yeah. milkshakes are always a good thing in the summer. Uh, you know, it's we were just talking during the break that um, summer vacation has just started. Mm -hmm. uh, but yet there's that, that feeling of fall and getting kids ready for right. back to school and right. sports. That means a busy time for physicals and all it sorts does. of things. It does, it does. And in fact... Um, the hospital um, through the Oak Street Pediatrics is offering the um, school sports physicals. So that's in June, July, and August. You can call 814-827-7004. So you can schedule an appointment. It's $20 um, for the physical. And all of that is donated back to the Titusville School District Sports Programs. So Very nice. Yes, yes. We... Um, wanted to make sure that that, that happened. Um, so Oak Street Pediatrics, we did this last year and it went very smoothly. People appreciated the fact that they could call and make an appointment, um, that it wasn't just one day where they had to show up for a physical because people in the summer are traveling, are vacationing, and sometimes it's really hard to fit that schedule if you only have one or two designated times right. for physicals. So yeah, we did this last year and it worked out really well. Um, and we were able to donate proceeds back um, to the sports program last year. So, so there's really no excuse. I mean, this no is a pretty excuse. big window to get Correct. the appointment scheduled. Yeah, June, July, and <laughs> August. So, all right, uh, Jill. There's such uh, uh, I think amazing attention um, 
on the athletes. Mm -hmm. And this is just part of that. But between Titus Valeria Hospital and Meadville Medical Center, mm -hmm. there's really that emphasis on making sure the athletes um, stay healthy or if Correct. they do get injured, that they're taken care of properly Correct. and immediately. Yes. So, and you have kids who are athletes. I have yes. kids who are athletes. Isn't that a nice feeling to it have? It really is. It really is. And um, the physical therapy office has the contract um, with the school district. So it's nice that you have physical therapy services on site at most of the sporting events also. Um, but one of the exciting things is um, we're hoping by September um, that we have a new orthopedic surgeon will be starting in town. Um, Dr. Dvorkin, and he's a general orthopedic, but he seemed very excited and interested in the sports programs and the athletes also. Um, he's looking forward to coming to the small community. He wants to be part of the sporting events. So it'll be nice to have um, him in town. He will be part of Orthopedic Associates of Meadville, but he will have his office in Titusville and he will be doing his visits and his surgeries in Titusville. So we're wow. so looking forward to having him. Uh, now, I'm not sure, but credentials i mean this guy he is oh wait here they are yeah here they are look at that board certified um which is a great thing um and all his awards are in the joint replacement the sports medicine and the general orthopedic and this top doctor award is actually voted on by other physicians so it's not like an award you pay for or you, you know that you drum up it's actually voted on by your peer physicians so for him to achieve this year after year has been great so we're so looking forward to having him on our staff and having him in the community um, when we asked him why titusville what what drew you to titusville and he said he's always wanted to own an old victorian home and he's always wanted to learn how to fly fish so what better wow. place than check, check. titusville pa <laughs> so we're we're really looking forward to having him and and you know we've heard uh just by conversations we've had with you guys uh, with uh, Dwayne kohler in meadville that you know a lot of times uh, doctors will come in and say hey you know i'm bringing my spouse and mm -hmm. we need to find an environment where you know she or he will be uh, able to to be engaged uh, mm -hmm. whether volunteering on boards or being able to go see an orchestra or a play or whatever so sometimes it's okay to say yeah there's there's great shows locally but you right. can be you know an hour or two hours away from maybe that next step um but it's nice to hear that somebody's saying, you know, it's time to maybe slow up and, yes, and look absolutely. for an environment like this. Yeah, absolutely. So he's very into outdoors, hiking, fishing. You know, like I said, he wants to learn how to fly fish, but he's very into hiking. So it, it'll be a great addition to our staff professionally and personally. Sure. Uh, just a great personality. Interacted well with our physicians when he was here for a visit. Found a house, fell in love immediately. Um, so they're well on their way. Wow. We're hoping again that he starts fall. We're hoping by the beginning of September, but sometime in the fall he should be here. That's exciting. Yes, very exciting. Very so exciting. that's on the horizon. Uh, I can't believe we're already halfway through the year. Yes. Um, we had our golf outing. I heard yes, you talking about the yes. chamber outing. We had our golf outing um, May 30th. We hadn't had it for about four years, so we were kind of worried and wondering how this was going to turn out for us. But we ended up with 30 teams. Wow. We had great vendor support. And when we were discussing it, when we were talking about how we wanted to profit, all of our profits are going to go to the ER renovations. We've talked about that multiple times um, on this show about how we've improved the processes of our ER, but now it's time to improve the physical space of our ER. So all of the proceeds from this golf outing, we're going to go to the ER renovation project. And Holly Wolf did a fabulous job setting everything up. Um, we were hoping to make $15,000 profit. You know, Lee said 15000 would be a home run for us. Well, Holly had a grand slam. We ended up with um, a $26,000 profit what? from our golf outing. Four years off and just boom right out of the gate so oh that's amazing holly did a fabulous job setting everything up um everybody got involved and contacted vendors and we had great vendor support really the only complaint we had that day was kind of the bugs there <laughs> it was a little buggy on some of the holes but we made yeah, sure we got control some that right but we made sure we got our bug spray and, and took it out to the holes <laughs> and and we able to make people happy so it was just 
The weather held off. It was cloudy, but it wasn't It was still a beautiful hot. day, yeah. Um, and it didn't rain, but it was just, it was a great day. So uh, did you guys have uh, uh, like a wrap-up meeting afterwards? I we would did. imagine you would we want did. to continue this. Yes, the- we did. And, you know, we were looking for suggestions on things to improve upon, and there weren't a whole lot of areas for us to improve upon because everything went so well. Yeah. Um, Holly was able to get a lot of good prizes donated. We did purchase a few to raffle off, but it, it was just, again, the support was amazing. Um, and people really enjoyed their T-shirts that they got. Well, they weren't T-shirts. They were the, the golf shirts um, and uh, the dry fit. So everybody oh, loved wow. those. Um, and everybody really enjoyed their time. And, again, great weather really helps <laughs> make it a successful event. Uh, so that was uh, the end of uh, May, and mm-hmm. I would imagine you guys will look at the same time next year? Probably, yeah. We used to do it like about a week before. We did that 20th to the 27th range, but we bumped it out to the 30th, and, and that paid off well for us. So we'll probably schedule it for the same time next year and wow. hope we have the same turnout and the same involvement. And we had it at Cross Creek, and again, they're fabulous to work with. They We have done this for years with them, so... It was, even though we hadn't done it for four years, it was just like falling back into old <laughs> habits. So everything went smooth. Well, very nice. Sounds like you really got the support, and that's incredible. Oh, it was it was great. It was great. Uh, this is the Morning Drill on Stream Television, Armstrong, and the Allegheny News Talk Sports Network. Uh, Jill Neely joining us here this morning. And, you know, you talked about the ER renovations. Uh, is there a time frame on when you'd like to get that project underway? Or is it still trying to maybe hit some goals before you start tackling those projects? Yes, we um, are still in the planning phases of it. Um, we had a few hiccups with the um, state of Pennsylvania, the Department of Health. Oh. Um, there were some... You want me to take care of them? Criteria we had to meet, um, and we applied for some exceptions, and we got some exceptions. But there were a few things um, for the design phase that we did have to adjust, but they were minor things. So um, they're just wrapping up that redesign, and then they will take it for approval. So once we get that approval, then we'll be up and running. So we're hoping mid-July we have the approval we need and then we can we can start moving along with that project. Wow that's exciting. Yes. Uh, now I think Lee had mentioned at one point that uh, uh, a concern for him was uh, sort of the curtains in the yes. ER yes. Uh, and, the, and the privacy. Mm-hmm. Um, I understand that but uh, sometimes it's <laughs> Sometimes it's entertaining to hear what's going on in the next room. I, I was in there one time and you could hear there's like two others or I forgot what the situation was, but somebody was talking and then you could hear further down. It was like, uh, Bud, is that you? Uh, Charlie, is that you? Right, right. Yeah. I mean, it is in a small town. You do find <laughs> right. that everybody knows everybody's business, but we're trying to alleviate that a yeah, little no, bit that's a with, good thing. <laughs> with the curtains. Um, so they will be actually three separate rooms there where there are the three beds with the curtains. Um, so, so that'll be much better for everyone. And in the meantime, um, our plan is, you know, you can still come in through the, the uh, main ER entrance and while it's under construction, we do have alternative plans and, and where to take care of the patients and, and still on the first floor and still near x-ray and lab so that everything's accessible. So they have a good interim plan moving forward to, to have a good patient experience while um, the renovations are taking place. So we, we've heard a lot about uh, the times and how mm-hmm. you know things have really just progressed in terms of getting uh, what from the time that somebody enters the ER to the time they actually see a doctor mm-hmm. has decreased dramatically. Correct. When you see something like that, do you, and does the staff say, wow, we can do this, so let's... Oh, absolutely. What's next? What can we tackle next? Absolutely. Everyone was very excited. Um, and, and again, with this, with the new renovations coming, Kim Combs has done a fabulous job, and Dr. Newhook in the ER, um, it just looking at all the processes and seeing, you know, during this renovation, what other things can we change? How can we make this a better patient experience? What can we change in registration so that when the patient comes in? So we're always looking at those processes. But that was a big thing, that hurdle that we crossed to say, hey, we were able to accomplish this. So we know when we work together, we can make this a better patient experience overall. So, yes, they're, they're definitely looking at all areas 
um, and seeing what other process changes can be made. Does that open up the scope of things? I mean, I'm sure there was a period where it's like, okay, let's let's tackle things, you know, one step at a time. Mm-hmm. As you go through this, does that start to broaden a little bit? Do you start saying, okay, what happens a year from now? Or what are we doing three years from now? Oh, absolutely. And, and in all aspects of the hospital, you know, we're trying to work on a community-wide scheduling um, where we can schedule a patient ahead of time for their x-rays so that they don't have to sit in that lobby and wait um, to be registered. Hmm. So th- it, it opens up not only in that department, but then it kind of opens up and say, okay, what other things can we look at and change to give our patients a better experience? So that's one of the things that we're starting to look at now. We're just in the beginning phases of trying to get the orders from the physicians so that we can get people's insurance verified and get them on the schedule so that when they show up at the door, they can go straight back to x-ray so they don't even have to make that stop oh, wow. in the lobby at the hospital. So, But even so, that, that experience has really changed too. I mean, yes. the, you've got the screens that have, mm-hmm. you know, the, I think it shows the phone number, the last digits of a phone number. So, so the time, the wait time. Yeah. So you can show you how long you've been sitting there waiting. So we're trying to decrease that wait time also um, in, in the lobby. And this is one of the ways we're trying to alleviate that, that if it's something that's a scheduled appointment, it's a lot easier to get the patients through and to their destination faster. Uh, so you have all of this going on. Um, uh, I think communication uh, with Meadville and transportation mm-hmm. with Meadville yes. and CADA coming into yes. play. That's really changing things too. That is exciting. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the start date, but I do know they're going to have um, routes set up um, on a daily, I think it's a daily basis. They'll have one or two routes. Um, there definitely is a route over, and I think it's a continuous over and back, so there'll be multiple times in the day. But it'll be nice for people that need to visit the courthouse or need to visit a physician over in Meadville or just to do any type of business um, in Meadville that they can't accomplish in Titusville. They'll be able to take that transportation over um, to do that when they don't have any other means of transportation or relying on a friend to take them sure. over. So, yeah, that's that's going to be a great addition to the town also. And and I would imagine uh, technology has really helped with that communication part and just oh, keeping things flowing for you guys and from department to department. So when a patient leaves, maybe seeing the doctor, mm-hmm. you know, it's getting over to x-ray or it's get, as you're saying, Absolutely. it's just making it very fluid, isn't it? Absolutely. That, that's been a big part of it. So um, Right now, we're still, we use a system called Meditech, um, and Meadville uses the same system. Um, They're on a different version, though, but there is still a lot of areas where we have um, the same level of communication and access. And, you know, even though um, we're sitting in Titusville, we're able to use the Meadville system to process our payroll, to to do those things where we have our person sitting in Titusville doing these things, but it's on Meadville's system. So that's been kind of nice also. That's very cool. Yes. Lots of neat things happening. Absolutely. uh, Absolutely. And let's, let's go back by uh, recapping what we started to talk about. And that was, if you're looking for a place to get a good sandwich or a bite to eat or check out the daily specials. Yes. Go to the snack shop at Titusville. Mm -hmm. The um, daily specials, every day they have them, and it's the same every week. So you can check it out. They put it on the board right outside the snack shop, and it's a great place to eat. And proceeds benefit who? The um, the tips, actually, the auxiliary, um, they, they run the snack shop, so they staff it, and they wait on the customers. So any tips that they receive actually goes to a scholarship fund um, that the auxiliary has. So, nice. so that's great. Very nice. And they're so friendly. Oh, they're fabulous. They they are just the nicest ladies <laughs> yeah. that are in there. And, um, and dedicated. They love going up there. Oh, they do. And I'm telling you, when my daughter walks in on a Friday, the uh, they know that she's there for the cheesesteak. And they know exactly <laughs> how she likes it. So they already write down. And they say, if you want something different, honey, you better speak up. Because you're getting your cheesesteak and your shake. <laughs> That's great. Uh, And uh, athletes. Yes, sports physicals. Yes. June, July, August, Oak Street Pediatrics, 827-7004 to schedule your appointment. No excuse. That's a big window to get that uh, scheduled. And if you're a fall sport, you have to have your physical done by that second week in August, I believe, is when fall sports start. So 
get on the get on the schedule. Jill, great to see you this morning. It was great to see you. Congrats for with having everything me. going on. Thank and uh, what would you learn today? Oh, I learned that the chamber outing changed its date too. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be wet today. Oh, I, I think. Hope, I hope not. For their sake, I hope they have a great day. Yeah, I should have brought an umbrella. Hey, we'll see you soon. Thank you. It was you. great to see you. Thank you. All righty. And we'll see everybody back here tomorrow for the morning drill. Beginning to think that I'm wasting time. I don't understand the things I can do. Outside looks so unkind, and I'm counting on you. You can carry me through. Oh, give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I wanna get lost in your rock.